Some people love frogs and toads. Most of us would rather not be anywhere near them. But frogs and toads are some of the most oldest creatures to have ever roamed the earth. They're also some of the most poisonous too. They can be plain green as most of us normally expect a frog to look. But they can also be incredibly colorful. And it normally goes without saying that the more colorful they are, the more deadly they are likely to be. The deadly toxins that each frog or toad releases have been developed as a natural defense over millions of years and is, in some cases, powerful enough to kill a human. But as with many natural wonders, mankind has evolved ways to take advantage of such deadly weapons and use it for his own benefit, like many indigenous people that live in the jungles of South America. So let's take a look at the top 10 most poisonous frogs and toads. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. Okay, so starting off the top of our list at number 10 is the Chusan Island Toad, or Asiatic Toad. You're likely to find this rather large toad in the far east of Russia, Korea, and of course throughout China. It has a rather unusual poison that has in fact been used for the benefit of human science, but has also been known to be used for an aphrodisiac. Unfortunately, many who use it this way use too much, which has been known to cause heart attacks and ultimately death. Number 9 is the Corroboree Frog. Not a frog that you're going to find in any of the Southern American rainforests. Rather, you're going to have to go to the New South Wales region of Australia to find one of these guys. We may not think of Australia as an exceptionally mountainous country, but where the Corroboree frog lives, it's definitely more than hilly. These frogs will normally be found in the so-called alpines of the New South Wales and up to 4,000 feet above sea level. They're not the most harmful frog to humans on our list, but you really don't want to go around picking these guys up, that's for sure. At number 8 is the Mantella or Malagasy poison frog. Unusual for poison frogs, the Mantella can be found not in Central or Southern America, but on the island of Madagascar off the east coast of South Africa. They are very similar in looks to the more common species you'd typically see around the Latin America region where most poisonous frogs come from. However, they are not in any way directly descended from each other. What it does have in common is the fact that it is covered in special toxins that are primarily used for defensive purposes. It's not as deadly as many of the American frogs, but is known to be able to keep its poison coating for some time, even in captivity. Number 7 today is the Panamanian Golden Frog. As the name would suggest, you'd expect to find this species in the forested areas of Panama's Pacific Ocean coastline. However, unfortunately, it is widely believed that this species may have gone extinct in the wild. It's a shame because it's one of the more beautiful frogs that could be seen in the wild, although technically it is in fact a toad. Due to the coloration of the toad, it is highly prized by people wanting to own one or more, which has led to its critical endangered status. It's a creature that you'd definitely want to stay away from if you could find one. Or, if you did need to handle it, be sure to wear gloves as this chap is covered in poison that will affect your ability to breathe. Number 6 on our list is a rather unusual one. It's the Greenings Frog. Most of the frogs on our list here will use their poison as a defensive measure and will normally be coated in toxin or release it if a predator tries to eat them. The Greenings Frog, on the other hand, is one of the few venomous frogs in the world. This means that poison is actually injected into another animal which is what this guy does by means of headbutting its prey and injecting venom through spiny spikes in its skull. If you feel the need to see one of these guys in the wild, you'll need to visit the lowland desert areas around eastern Brazil and look for rocky outcrops around water areas. They're fairly big at about 87 millimeters, or 3.5 inches, in length, but are typically gray in color. Just don't get near its head. At 5 is the Strawberry Poison Dart Frog. A beautiful strawberry color with black spots across their body, these guys are well-named and easy to spot. They tend to live a little further north than other tree frogs, favoring areas of Central America such as Nicaragua and Panama rather than the jungle regions further south. They are one of the smaller variety of frogs on our list, coming in at approximately 25 millimeters, or about 1 inch, in length. Once again, be careful in touching these guys as they are covered in alkaloid toxins that are known to cause paralysis and affect the functions of the heart. Given their coloration, it's probably fair to say that you've been warned. Number 4 is the Cocoa Poison Dart Frog. Another inhabitant of the rainforest regions of Central America, the Cocoa Poison Dart Frog features an amazing color scheme across its body of yellow stripes over black with green speckled legs. They are a little unusual with regard to other tree frogs of the region in that when looking for a mate, the males will have a kind of virtual sing-off rather than a wrestling match, which is the more common way of settling such issues. Their toxin is one of the most potent, resulting in paralysis of the muscles and then potential death. That said, this only seems to apply to frogs in the wild 
child. And not to those raised in captivity, something scientists are still researching. At number three on this list is the dying poison dart frog. Like many of the frogs in this list, the dying poison dart frog also lives in the rainforest areas of South America, and in particular Guiana in Brazil. Unlike some of the other frogs here, you'd really need to ingest the frog in some way to appreciate just how toxic it really can be. Although doing so is probably not such a good idea, as this little guy is more than capable of killing a human. Number 2 is the Golden Poison Frog Known to inhabit the rainforest region along the Pacific coast of Colombia, the golden poison frog could well be described as one of the most poisonous frogs known to mankind. This particular species of dart frog, so named because the local indigenous people use its poison on their darts for hunting, is the largest of its kind at just over 55 millimeters long, and as the name would suggest, is a bright golden color, warning potential predators to stay away. It has a dense coating of what is known as an alkaloid toxin covering its skin. This means you only have to touch the frog to put yourself in serious danger. This chap is thought to carry about one milligram of poison, which although it might not sound like much, is in fact enough to kill up to 20 humans or two fully grown African male elephants. Thankfully, there are only known to be two other frogs from the same species that carry the same amount of poison. So, as long as you stay away from brightly colored frogs, the next time you visit the Colombian rainforest, you should be fine. And so, to the number one on our list, which is the Bruno's Cask-Headed Frog. This guy operates in a very similar way to the Greening's frog we mentioned previously. Where most of the frogs on our list will secrete a poison in a kind of passive defensive way, this guy actively uses his poison to kill prey. As such, these aren't officially poisonous, but venomous instead. To give you an idea of just how deadly these little guys are, the venom that they can inject through spiny spikes on their head is said to be 25 times more deadly than that of the Fer de Lance Pit Viper, one of the most deadly snakes in the world. In other words, one gram of this guy's venom would be enough to wipe out over a quarter of a million mice, or more than 70 humans. So, if you happen to find yourself in and around the forested areas of Brazil, stay well away from the frogs. Okay. Well that's all for this video, thank you for watching, it's been fun having you with us. Did you guys agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We'll see you again soon.